Courtney M. We gotta have a talk. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's subscriber sponsored request slash subway shootout from my viewers. Unique subs that I've never put together in my mind. I've never tried ones that I don't usually gravitate towards for the most part. So I have five different subs here. I chose out of, I think, like 55 or so suggestions. Um, thank you for putting in your suggestions. These are just what I gravitated towards and they seem to make sense in my scenario. Uh, I'm ready to get into them. I want to do them in succession and I will put out the name right here and I'll read off the toppings of the person I chose for each one of these subs. Just before that, I'm keeping it to a water today just because I feel like this is a lot of food and if I get too bubbly in the in the tummy, it's not going to go well. So uh, <laughs> I did make homemade sub uh, Subway like not too long ago and I do have some backup sauces just in case. This is a uh, sweet onion basically this is the southwest and then of course we got hidden valley in our own bottle just in case we need a little extra sauce but hopefully that's not the case and uh, i'm ready to get into this so i'm going to make this organized and clean and we're going to go one by one so bear with me okay first up on screen you'll see here i have krista edwards my fave subway sub is a six inch veggie on italian cheese bread extra cheddar cheese extra bacon this isn't actually a veggie sub, haha. <laughs> All of the toppings except the specialty one. So I assume she meant like the hot stuff and the olives, which I omitted. So extra mayo and chipotle sauce, so good. So I did want to have one that seemed lighter, more veggie-ish, but I was drawn to the bacon. So we'll get into that one right meow. All right, so when I presented this to the, to the girl at the shop, she was like, I presented it as, as a veggie. She's like, so a BLT? Cause there's bacon on it and i was like yeah basically charge me for a blt make it bacon <laughs> 69 cents make it bacon but yes all the veggies bacon cheese mayo southwest got the bacon right there coming out there's actually quite a bit it may not look like it but they did stack it in pretty good toast it up ready to go So far, very mayo-y bacon. This is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. The cheese, the bacon, the mayo is really, really what's most forward. I think it needs a little more of the homemade Southwest on it just to kick it up a notch. I took it where it needed to go. What I like about this is the ease of uh, use, like the just to eat it. It's like it's not difficult. It doesn't fall all over all over the place. Everything's compact. It's just a nice, easy. Simple, delicious sub. That I need to put down if I'm going to get through the rest of these. All right, palate cleanser. Ah, 
Okay, so next up we have Courtney M. Six inch tuna, herb and cheese, spinach, tomatoes, pickles, banana peppers, jalapenos, and chipotle southwest sauce. So I just wanted to have a tuna involved. I do get tuna fairly often, but not that often. Here's the thing. I never get tuna on herb and cheese bread ever. I always get it on white or wheat. And I never get it with these toppings really except for the banana peppers. And I've never had tuna with Southwest sauce. So that's kind of like where my head was at with this. I was like, I really want to see what, how the tuna reacts to these other ingredients. So we got the herb and cheese bread, of course. Pop her open. And that's what I'm intrigued to know is how the tuna is going to react to that sauce. Give her a try. Untoasted, by the way. I felt super bad about being the multi-sub order guy, but I went in there super organized. I was like, I'm going to need four six inch herb and trees bread. I'm going to need this bread, four are toasted. One is not like kind of thing. I was like super on it. Okay. Courtney M, we got to have a talk. I'm not feeling it. As per my traditional tuna needs. For me, the chipotle sauce is not working with the tuna. For whatever reason. And it's too much spice. The chipotle, the banana peppers, the jalapenos. They're just all... Just overloading the scenario. For me, it feels unbalanced. So, low scores for that one. But we all have our own different palettes. For my palette, it's just not working. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, for the next one, I did want to include a steak option. There were a few in the suggestions, but this one sparked the most intrigue to me. And it's from my guy Costa, the Italian poutine sponsorship. But he says nine grain bread, steak, Swiss cheese, uh, toasted with lettuce, tomato, onions, green pepper, hot peppers, salt and pepper, oregano, barbecue sauce. That's my Subway sandwich. So this is the one I got on behalf of him. So shout out you again. Once again, Costa. And let's get into it. So I very rarely have steak and cheeses. But this one did seem intriguing to the mind. Both the toppings. Oh, they put it on the wrong bread. They got that one mixed up. Unfortunately, this is supposed to be on the nine grain. But they herb and cheesed me. So that's an error on their part. It's their fault on their end. But I did want to include a steak and cheese. I very rarely have steak and cheese at Subway. But the toppings on this and the barbecue sauce element had me most intrigued. So let's find out because I never eat barbecue sauce at Subway.
pretty skimpy on the steak. Just tucked in the corner there. I do like the stove and the barbecue sauce. That's good. That'd be a good bite. Nice melty, cheesy steak bite. Seems I've been sleeping on uh, Subway's barbecue sauce. It's quite good. So far, I think I'm liking this one the best. All right, up next we have Rachel Woody saying super basic Italian herb and cheese with turkey add salami. So that intrigued me. Uh, pepper jack, lettuce, tomato, black olives, green peppers, banana peppers, lots of mayo, and chipotle sauce. Smash! <laughs> so, I did I did want to have a turkey one because, once again, something I rarely get at Subway. I very rarely get a turkey sub. Like, it just, for me, the whole idea of getting a turkey sandwich is, like, I can just make a better one at home. I always, the reason why I go to Subway is to get something that I feel like is... Like, so uniquely Subway that I can't make it at home. And uh, turkey to me is just something that I can definitely make really good at home. But they sauced the, the shit out of this one. See the salami creeping on the sides there. Oh, tomato down. Got the turkey creeping on the edge. I'm intrigued to see how the... Uh, Turkey and salami play off each other. Also with the addition of black olives. Very interesting. This one's tricking with my mind. More so than I thought, I can really taste the turkey. The salami's there, but it's like the turkey's mostly the most the more powerful. But what really does actually add a cool flavor profile is is the olives. And I do like how this one was specifically more saucy. So it's making for more delicious bites. Hmm. Very interesting. Certainly a flavor combo. I've never had. I dig it. The olives were an unexpected. Just I invite the flavor of those to my world.
sodium. Okay, lastly, we finally solved the mystery of who got the wrong bread. This is supposed to be herb and cheese, but it will be on the nine grain. That was supposed to be with the, the uh, steak, but this is from Preet Gill. Herb and cheese bread, sweet onion, chicken teriyaki with jalapenos and shredded cheese toasted first, and then you put lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, uh, green pepper, pickles, mayo, sriracha, honey mustard, and like house sauce with pepper. So let's get into this. I do like the chicken teriyaki. I don't get it often. But I will say it is a sub that I do like. So there's that bread. I, I love the chicken teriyaki sauce. I'm not going to get too deep into this because there, there's just a lot going on. I just want to get in for a bite. I'm interested to, to understand the honey mustard with the spice and the vinegar because there's a lot of different sauce combos in here. Not far enough to tell yet. Okay. Just got into the chicken. Getting the teriyaki. This sub to me is confusing. Pardon the ice man doing his thing. All right. Here's where I'm at with this. It's very confused. jalapenos the the spicy like the sriracha but then the honey mustard and whatever the the chicken teriyaki like the teriyaki on the chicken already it's just a lot going on my mouth is very confused Nothing really seems to match. I can't get any, it's not salsa tango, like they're not dancing together. And why are you peeing everywhere? I don't know, confused about that one. I also think at this point, I'm getting full and my palate is fatigued, having gone through all of that, all those different flavors, but Confucius says, I'm confused. Hmm, that was an interesting adventure. If I had to rank, like, maybe I don't know. This is tough. I'd say maybe the steak and cheese, then the turkey, salami, olives, one, then the bacon with all the veg, and then the teriyaki, then the tuna. I think is how I'd go. All that to say this, Nothing, and I mean nothing, and I didn't choose this for a reason, because I love it so much. Just beets, the Italian <laughs> BMT, herb and cheese, toasted up, all the veg with banana peppers, 
chipotle, sweet onion, and ranch. All time, hands down, <laughs> smasher of a sub. <laughs> it's definitely my favorite. Nothing beats it. But um, definitely some interesting combos in there. A fun adventure to go on. Shout out to uh, Amber for sponsoring this video. And shout out to everybody for leaving their suggestions. I hope I didn't go too hard on you. <laughs> okay, till the next one. You know what to do. You can live well. Stay true. <laughs>